I'm Jeanette Kane from Jewelry Arts Inc. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy low dome out of fine silver. As you may remember, here are our beautiful wires all fused down to the back sheet. So these were fine silver. We put a light coat of ochre on the back. We fused them in the kiln. Okay, so they look fucking great. So we want these to be domed. And here's the thing, when we are making domes, there's a few different ways to go about it. If you really want like a high dome, then normally what we do is we cut out a circle of metal, we dap it in a dapping block until we get that nice high curve, and then we make a wire that will rest on there and fuse it on that way. Mm -hmm. Since the dome that you wanted was not particularly high, I'm gonna show you the <coughs> way faster and easier naughty <laughs> method of just fusing this down when it's flat because it's much easier especially if you're a beginner to just like flat sheet a flat wire to a flat sheet and fuse it down with fusing you've got enough to stress you out <laughs> you know what I mean without being like and also it needs to fit the curve <laughs> and the, you know, blah, blah, blah. for a high curve you do but so this is um, the naughty method which is I have a couple of these blocks here um, you know, they just have a bunch of different depressions in them. And these are great when like, I'm just gonna need to put a low curve in something now and then. It's not like where you have the whole block and they're regimented, whatever. But these are really handy for like, I just wanna put a little dome in something and one of these will be the right, you know, kind of a, kind of a thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away your, most of your excess metal. So it's, it's all right. <laughs> so that it's out of our way. I know she's like, I should, have gotten, I should have gotten your reaction. I know, right? <laughs> Wait, what? So that I can stick it in here and dome it easily. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'm still leaving a little bit, you know, because it is, it is easier to fuse when you have some extra back sheet because you need to be able to get the whole thing hot and That's then move it underneath the granules. Sheet. Yes, which is, you know. That just means you're learning. <laughs> because you're like, oh, wait a minute. She told me not to do that. I'm gonna like do something like that, let's say. A little bit of extra to still serve the purpose, but not so much sticking out that it's gonna interfere with my process here. <clears throat> and this is also fine silver uh, 30 gauge or 26 gauge, 26, 26 gauge, I think. So, I mean, this is relatively soft. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have 100% used my thumb in one of these blocks to do it. I also grabbed a couple of the bigger daps, but. So I'm gonna find one of these that's relatively like sort of broad like that, where I can just kind of go like, oh, I could just do that. Oh look, oh. it's a low dome. Wow. Now we can go a little higher than that. But it's important to sort of understand your goal with how difficult you make your process. You know, if you're just like, I want a little curve, it doesn't have to be high, this is like a three second way to do it and to make your life a lot easier getting your wire to fit on there, especially, like I said, in the beginning. Right, right. Flat to flat is always way easier than curve to curve, okay? Now, I think you want a little higher dome than that, so we'll keep going. Maybe a little. You know? And remember, you know, the wood is a great choice because it won't necessarily make horrible marks. Now, if this wire gets flattened a little bit, as long as we do it tidily, you know, that's fine. But mm -hmm. these are just always the, um, the compromises, shall we say, that you may be uh, deciding on for yourself. I can also take like a nice big dab, put that right there. Lovingly tap, tap, tap. This is not a wham, 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 wham situation. This is a, you know, this is a finesse thing. See what I oh, mean? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so I'm gonna smooth that out a little bit more, you know, like go around a little more to smooth it. But you see what I'm saying? It's not hard to get, mm -hmm. you know, a, a nice dome on there without having an enormous dapping block and an entire set of daps and a, you know what I mean? You can literally get one of these and do some of this with your thumb and have a look. Cause a lot of times it's not so much that you're trying to make things super high dimension. You just want a little curve. You just don't want things to be mm, exactly. so flat that they lack, you know, dimension. Yeah. Let's see which one of these is. I think I picked two exactly the same size. That's not good. 
<laughs> or it's not just useful. Just yeah. <laughs> not helpful. What I could also do is go in the back and grab one of the like really big ones. I mean, this is pretty big, but. But you see what I mean? You know, that is just a really easy way to get a dome. I think I am going to go in the back and grab the biggest one just to, like, smooth that a tiny bit. But you see what I mean. This is, like, it's pretty. you know, as it's long as you don't do anything too crazy, you know, it's fine. It's, fa it's fine. It looks good. All happy things. So let me go grab the biggest one, and I'll, and I'll show you. Actually, we'll be much better off with that. That's good. So we'll be much better off, actually, with an <laughs> even bigger one to really just hit the whole thing at once. But where was I? I think in here. Oh yeah, there you go. You see what I'm saying? Lovely. You know? Lovely. So perfect. Off camera, I was just saying, yeah, they never taught me to do it this way. Because here's the thing, when you make your dome and have to fuse this and everything. You've got no metal sticking out. It's much harder to pick up. It's much harder to get in and out of the key. Like it's just, it's way fussier. And if you need to do that for the look you're going for, fine. But there's no reason to suffer. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if you want, just here, I'll do, I'll do one more. I'll just use the really, sorry, the, the really main one to show you that we could probably skip a step or two in between. Okay. And I was saying, Alexis, if that were gold, we were still cutting it the same amount. Yeah, uh, you maybe know, it, it would have had a little less to start. Yeah, maybe, but honestly, yeah, gold is not very different from silver at all. Most things are pretty much identical. amazing if you have the right side to, size to begin with it only takes one second so this is what I mean you know and, yeah. and I mean honestly this is how I work I experiment and I'm like oh no wait like that looked big but actually I need the really big honker one but you see what I mean so you're gonna just I mean it's like you cut it tap tap that's it you've got a lovely low dome and we have a little metal left over down here which means it's very easy to pick it up and put it in the kiln mm -hmm. instead of having no extra metal and having to use a little spatula and whatever, which again is a pain in the fucking ass. So, why don't you do the same thing with this one? Okay. And then we'll start setting up to granulate. You know what I mean? If they don't, you still have one. It's just, it's just a sensible approach. <laughs> 